Hello, my gorgeous people. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm so happy that you've joined me yet again on another YouTube video of mine. It's a beautiful day outside. The sun's finally shining and I can finally record some good content without the rain interrupting. I hope you guys are having an amazing day wherever you are. Now, in today's YouTube video, I'm going to be doing a makeup look. I'm going to transform my face into this beautiful, wearable makeup look right here. It's super chill, nothing over the top. I'm going to use only plume makeup products. Plume is an Indian brand. it's cruelty free it's also vegan which is amazing i'm trying so hard to go 100% vegan with all of my beauty and skincare and if you are vegan and you're looking for good vegan makeup then this is a video that you definitely need to watch the first time i heard of plume was a couple of years ago and i got to know about this brand from their makeup sponges a lot of makeup artists that i follow actually use their makeup sponges and i kept thinking that plume only makes makeup accessories but they also make makeup products and in today's video i'm going to show you all of these how they perform on my skin give you a quick review and let you guys know if this is worth your money or not now if you're watching me for the first time hi my name is preeti i'm india's first cruelty free beauty blogger i talk about all things cruelty free which means products that are not tested on animals i give shout out to a lot of indian local brands i talk about veganism and a lot more things if this is the kind of content you resonate with you want to watch more of then please subscribe to my youtube channel and continue watching today's video Skin prep is done. I've already done it before this video. My skin is breaking out ever so slightly. I think it's because of the change of weather. It's really sticky and really humid. Now I'm going to prime my skin, you guys. I'm going to use this beautiful thing right here, the Plume Silk Blur Moisturizing Primer. I've used this only twice before. It's been a week that I've been trying these products out and this stuff is actually really really good. It's very hydrating, but it also blurs out your pores ever so slightly. This feels like a cream, but it's not that tacky or sticky so even if you have combination oily skin you can easily use this Okay, my skin looks really nice, you guys. The pores have blurred out ever so slightly, and my skin doesn't feel extremely matte. In fact, it feels very soft to touch and very, very moisturized. This is a super moisturizing primer, and I think it's perfect even for the most dry skin because it honestly feels really nice on the skin. Now, the reason why it's giving me the super plump feeling is because it's enriched with hyaluronic acid. It's also got avocado oil, which is superb to improve your skin condition and instantly plump your skin, make your skin texture. a whole lot better and perfect to prime your face for makeup. Now you all know that I love applying primers just before my sunscreen especially when I'm stepping out, if I have to do a lot of makeup and sunscreens really stay longer when you apply primer, especially when you have tinted sunscreens, they don't oxidize a lot because the primer has this very nice coating separating your skin and your sunscreen. This is a primer that you can easily use under your sunscreen as well. This doesn't feel too heavy, this doesn't feel tacky, so you're not going to get all sweaty and all sticky and greasy in the this weather. I'm just going to quickly dot my face. I'm doing a very very minimal makeup look, nothing over the top. I just want to cover any discoloration of sorts. This is super minimal you guys. I'm going for a very natural minimal makeup look, perfect for beginners, perfect for office, perfect for college. If you're lazy, you don't want to use a lot of products, just use any simple concealer that works for you and then blend it with a sponge. I'm using my Velvet sponge from Plume. Dude, this is so soft. The texture is so velvety. It is amazing. I've dampened it ever so slightly to blend this all out. And what I love about this is that it does not absorb a lot of product. I have another sponge right here. This is softer and I like this precision. So this is going to be really cool for the inner corner. Concealer is done. Nothing over the top, you guys. Now very quickly, let's compare both of these sponges. This one right here is slightly hard as compared to this. This is super super soft. The texture of both of these is very very velvety, very nice. Does not absorb a lot of product. Now, of course, you will have to dampen all of your beauty sponges before you use them because when you use a dry beauty blender, it's going to pull out a lot of product. And when you dampen your sponges, it absorbs lesser amount of product and it helps to evenly distribute the product. So this sponge I've used for the first time on today's video but this is something I've been using for 2-3 days now. 
What I like about this is that this is slightly flat from here, making it perfect to press in powder, you guys. This right here is also super easy to get into this chin area right here. Now, this one right here gives you a very good precision, especially around the inner corners, around the nose area. If you want to quickly chisel your jawline and you want that sharp line, this is going to give you that. So both of these are great in their own way. Both of these are amazing. You can pick and choose whichever you want, basis of the kind of application or product that you do. I'm using the same sponge to apply some loose powder i love how beautifully it's pushing that powder in as compared to usual sponges that don't have this velvety finish this is giving me such a nice airbrush finish you guys i am honestly so impressed this is some good stuff literally just pressing and tapping pressing and tapping and it's giving me this beautiful airbrush finish dude this is actually really nice Plume also has makeup brushes, you guys, so I'm going to use all of them today. I love their makeup brushes. They're cruelty-free. They're vegan, which means they don't have animal hair. They're synthetic bristles, you guys. This kit is so cute. I have nicely washed all the brushes and kept them back in this. So I've been using this one right here, this, and these two. I kept them back in the packaging to show you how they come, but this stuff is so good. The fibers, the bristles are so, so soft. I'm going to use some of that setting powder. And just dab it all over my face i'm not going to be using a compact today because i want to show you guys how to do a very very simple makeup look without being over the top so all you need to do is dab some loose powder because that's going to help you keep all of your face matte and prevent any oils from seeping through also can we please appreciate this brush you guys the bristles are so soft none of them are sticking out the quality of these bristles being synthetic bristles is honestly so so good i am honestly so impressed the quality of bristles is so so important for loose powder for compact for bronzer because this is going to make a world of difference to the whole application it can be patchy it could trouble your skin it could really irritate your skin if any of the bristles are poking out but this hasn't done any of that absolutely love the finish so i'm touching up my eyebrows ever so slightly because i just want to add some more definition without being over the top because i'm going for a very nice natural makeup look so i don't want them too sharp i'm going to use my plume p15 brush to distribute all of that product into my eyebrow hairs this is really cool it's got a spoolie on one side an angle brush on the other so it makes the application honestly a whole lot easier let's go in with some color to the lips cheeks and the eyelid so i'm going to use one of the lipsticks of plume i've got three of them right here let's quickly swatch them so here are the swatches you guys i love these colors these are the colors that i regularly wear this is something that i have consistently worn ever since i got my hands on this this is high tea in 110 110 the next one is 108 soiree and the next one is regal rose 115 a very cool toned tomato red of sorts so i'm thinking of using maybe this or this for my cheeks because i do want to use only minimal products and not use another blush product so let's see maybe i'll use this one right here for my cheeks in soiree 108 so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put this on the back off my hand like so and then dab it onto my face i'm going to use this sponge and pick up the product from here and then dab it on my face to have like a nice even application um, i don't want to do it with the fingers because that's going to move the product around quite a bit and i don't want to do that i had loose powder literally all around my nose let me just dab that through i didn't do a very good job today but okay i'm going to dab this in So I've taken the shade high tea and I'm going to use my brush P22 from Plume and just blend this out on my eye to see what kind of a look it gives me. I really hope this comes through. Look at that finish, you guys. The shade high tea in 110 110 is honestly such a beautiful color. I love applying this on my lips. Also, I love this brush, P22. This is fluffy yet dense, so it allows you to distribute cream products really well on the eye. So this is going to be really cool even for concealer. It's also going to be really cool for cream eyeshadows because with the lipstick, it's done a fantastic job. I mean, just look at the difference. Look at how beautifully that's blended out. I'm going to do this eye and be right back. This looks so good, you guys. I love this little flush of color on my eyelids. High tea. This lipstick is so nice. Even on the lips, it looks stunning. Let me quickly swatch it on the lips and show you. So this is high tea on my lips. You guys, look at that color. It is so stunning. It's a beautiful creamy matte. It doesn't transfer too much. Now, obviously, if you eat super oily food, 
any lipstick is gonna budge unless it's a hardcore waterproof liquid lipstick but this is so comfortable on the lips and it's a very nice matte finish so I've added a little bit of eyeliner and some mascara only on my top lashes and very very little you guys nothing over the top because if this is gonna be a makeup look that you're wearing to the office or college or just completely simple then I don't want the mascara to be too strong I'm gonna add some bronzer again this is a completely optional step this is a complete look in itself if you don't want to add bronzer contour you don't want to spend some more money on those products this is a complete look in itself you guys but I'm giving you an option of a bronzer to just show you how it's gonna look I'm using the P02 plume brush and I'm picking up some bronzer just to add to my face right here to add some more dimension now very quickly you guys look at this angle right here this is amazing for blush and bronzer and even for contour and all in one kind of a product because this angle is so easy to get into these corners right here and pull product or even the other way around pull product backwards that angle gives you that beautiful finish to work with you can also use it like so to get more coverage angle brushes are amazing i think they give you that beautiful finish when you want to use contour bronzer and blush especially when you want to drag them all the way up here i feel like myself now you guys some nice warmth to my skin i love bronzers i think they are so magical for the skin especially especially brown indian skin no matter if you're light fair dusky bronzers just make you glow like no other again it's an optional step if you just want to take it up notch this is pretty much complete in itself let me show you two more products from plume these are the last two products i have from the brand this is the lux matte plume liquid lipstick and i have two shades right here this is i think flirtist yes flirtist and this is blush babe so these are the two swatches right here so flirtist is a more deeper red with a new neutral undertone so this one right here is a more tomato kind of a color right the lipstick that I swatched earlier but this is slightly deeper and darker so this is going to be great for festive looks this is going to be great for bridal makeup as well and this right here is perfect for an everyday makeup look because the color is honestly everything it is such a beautiful color I'm gonna wear this one right here okay so I've removed the previous lipstick I don't have any lip liner I usually apply a very nice brown colored lip liner literally with every single lipstick but today we're not going to do that because i want to show you the actual swatch of this on my lips I love how this is a very nice amalgamation of neutral and cool toned pinks because it's not very warm toned so my teeth they don't look very yellow a lot of warm toned pinks can make your teeth look super yellow man but this is not doing any of that you would have also noticed that i completely skipped highlighter you guys because i do have combination oily skin and i want this makeup look to be as realistic as possible if i'm stepping out for a long day of work or college or meetings or whatever i'm not going to be applying a lot of highlighter because all of the oils can you see the shine on my face i've anyway prepped my skin the primer was so moisturizing it's giving me a very nice silky finish literally true to its name is giving me a beautiful silky finish on my skin and I don't even need highlighter so if you have dry skin maybe then you can add some highlighter on these protruding areas like your cheekbone your brow bone your nose but I have completely skipped it and my skin looks honestly really good all thanks to the primer so this is a complete makeup look now I'm so happy with how these plume products have worked on my skin right from how the blush came through that primer is so good oh my god and this liquid lipstick it is so comfortable on the lips it doesn't feel tacky it doesn't leave that little bit of a circle in the middle of your lips throughout the day very very comfortable finish I love 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 how the lipstick is working on my eyelids from my personal experience all of these products products are amazing especially those brushes I get asked multiple times for good vegan makeup brushes in India and honestly I couldn't find brands in the Indian space that make vegan synthetic bristle brushes that are actually good quality and plume has got a 10 on 10 rating for me I highly recommend those to any vegans out there who want to use bristles that are not made from animal hair in their makeup brushes also the tools are amazing the lipsticks are fantastic I love how this look came through let me know what you guys think about this entire look in the comments and let me know if you've tried out any plume products what was your experience like also if you enjoyed watching this video then please hit the thumbs up so that i know you enjoyed watching it i'm gonna take your leave now you guys but before i go don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and check out my previous videos right here i will catch you all in the next video so then take care of yourselves bye